Hello, gym fitters. Welcome to episode three of our quarantine workouts. Today is Wednesday, and today we have something special for you. Today will be filthy 50s. So when we get to that portion, you'll understand what that means. Some of you that do the boot camps with me, well, you already know. All right, let's start off with our warm, our warm up. So we do light dynamic stretch out, wrist rotations, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, right arm, keeping the torso solid, full rotation in the cuff, good. Five rotations, and then change direction. One, two, three, four, five. All right, left arm, one, two, three, four, five. Reverse, one, two, three, four, five. Both arms, one, two, three, four, five. And reverse, one, two, three, four, five. Hands on the hips, hip rotations. One, two, don't bend the knees. Three, four, five. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five. All right, feet together. Hands on the knees, knee rotations. One, two, three, four, five. And reverse it. One, two, three, four, five. All right, right foot. One, two, three, four, five. And reverse. One, two, three, four, five. Left foot. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now it's time for our dynamic warm up. So we're going to do straddle walkouts. What that means is you get in the straddle, which is just your feet wide apart. Reach down, touch the ground in front of you, and you're going to walk out as far as you can, and then bring it back up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now we do side lunges. So standing center, you're going to turn and face the outsides. Keep the opposite leg, that foot facing that way. So I'm going to turn and lunge down, deep and long, and then come back up. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then finally, everyone's favorite, mountain climbers. So for this, we're getting a plank position. And you're gonna bring up, you're gonna bring your knees up. Almost touching the elbow and then shoot them back. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stand back up. It's round one of our dynamic warm up. Going back into straddles. One, two, one, two, three. Four, five, side lunges, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
nine. Ten. Now, back to mountain climbers. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Now, I'm not going to show me doing all filthy filthy. But, break it up. If you want to go through and do multiple rounds, like five reps of each exercise, great. If you want to do all 50 of each exercise one at a time, fabulous. If you want to do it in sets of 10, sets of 10. Make a number that you're comfortable with. Break it into bite-sized pieces. After all, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. I've also discovered that my videos go past 15 minutes, I can't put them on Instagram. So I've got to condense it a little bit. All right. You need to get you a chair. Don't worry, we're not jumping on top of the chair. But it needs to be nearby. Because one of our exercises is the bench dip. So you're going to sit in the chair at first. Put your hands right on the edge. Put your feet in front of you and come out just a little bit. This allows you to do the bench dip. Come down to 90 degrees and come up with the arms. Now where you put your feet is how you can make this more or less difficult. Way out here is the hardest version of the bench dip. Feet right behind you, or right under you, you're supporting a good bit of your weight on your legs now, so you can scale this up or down depending upon your fitness level. And if you have a setup where you can do full dips and you just wanna go for it, hey, knock it out, have fun with it. All right, so today we're gonna to do burpees, bench dips, plank toe touches, chair toe touches, push-ups, and crab toe touch. So real quick, a burpee. What I'm expecting from you right now is jump up, drop down, kick out, come back. That's one. Bench dip, I already demonstrated. Plank toe touches, you're in your plank position. Every touch is one, okay? Just touching those toes. Try to stay as long as you can. Chair toe touches are kind of very similar to Muhammad Ali's, almost the same thing. All you're doing is you're bringing your foot up, touching the chair. Every touch is one. So that goes quick. Push-ups, your classic push-up, whatever choice you want. If you want to be on your knees, regular, wide, narrow, pain stand, pick the push-up that you want to go for and knock it out. And then lastly, crab toe touches. We're touching our toes a lot today. So you're in the crab fork position, also known as bridge, and you bring the opposite foot to opposite hand. Fair enough? All right. I know y'all can't hear me. Just used to doing that from boot camp classes. Let's begin. 10 burpees. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got pause for wardrobe malfunction here. This is not that kind of shit. And one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank toe touches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chair toe touches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Short, simple, and quick. Ten push ups, your choice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And crab toe touches. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, I would still have four more sets of this to do before my workout is over. Doesn't make for good showing, so by all means, keep going guys. We're gonna make it through this quarantine. Let's keep doing it. Just keep moving.